Coaches and players spend countless hours studying and perfecting a game plan with one goal in mind, to, to win. End zone, it's up and it's this game of football is amazing. Touchdown, Liberty. And that is going to do it. The celebration begins at Williams Stadium. But what if winning is not the goal? What if the goal has nothing to do with football at all? So pick a spot, man, where it's open. What's up, baby, all right? Coach Maurice Harris has been coaching football for more than two decades, and he says mentoring his players is the top priority. That responsibility is huge, and it's one that I don't take for granted. And it's one that, that motivates me every single day to impact their lives. But he's not alone in that responsibility. His wife, Laquisha, plays an important role. I'm the stern one, it's not Maurice. And I think that the players, they, they feel that, they know that. Because with Maurice, what you see is who he is. He, he never puts on the front. Once a month, Maurice and LaQuisha open up their home to players, but not just to offer them a home-cooked meal or talk more football. We teach them to be the best husband, father, and man they can possibly be. They're going to be a good football player. This is a ministry, no doubt about that. And they have been perfecting it for years. But to understand how this ministry began, you first need to know how Maurice and LaQuisha first met. We both grew up in the same neighborhoods. We both knew a lot of the same people, but we never knew each other until 1990. At Whitehaven High School, it was after our spring football game. And I really wasn't looking for a girlfriend at the time. We started dating in March of 1990. I was 16 and Maurice was 17. We first went to different colleges. She went to Tennessee State University and I went to Arkansas State University for our freshman years. One thing that I did to entice her, I said, if you come to school with me, I will pay for your books. So a lot of my friends used to tease me that I put my, my uh, girlfriend on scholarship. I think definitely God destined our steps to be together. You know, we both came from situations that were, you know, tough. Marcus and I both grew up with the same background, my mom being a single parent, my dad um, on drugs. My dad, he was a you know drug addict, um, alcohol, you know ruined his life. You know he was uh, abusive, and he and my mom would would physically fight. And I remember asking him, "And what kind of man hits on a woman?" You know, I I I, I couldn't understand that at an early age. The fighting stopped when Maurice's parents divorced. And at the time, a young Maurice was relieved. I remember standing in the kitchen and telling my mama, thank you. You know, and I genuinely meant that, thank you, because, you know, you think about going to school, not really knowing, you know, what was going on back at the house. You're not able to focus at school like uh, a child should. It showed me, like, the strength of my mom, the way she always, you know, fought through and persevered. You know, she could have easily thrown in a towel, but um, she didn't. She fought for us on a daily basis. I mean, she had four children. I'm the oldest of four. And just to see her strength every single day was, uh, was amazing. As we've gotten older and gotten more into the word, I understand why those things happen. And I understand my grandmother praying, my mother praying, or his grandparents praying. You feel those prayers. Yeah, did I pick up uh, CJ? To teach that mentality is better to give than to get. It's something that we've really been focusing on. 92% of our problems, all right, we face is because the father is not in the home. Maurice is amazing. He does so much for anybody. My family, his family, neighbors, friends. He's amazing. That's what people did for me. We didn't have a lot of, we didn't. So people always came to our aid. And, uh, and I, I don't forget that. The reason why uh, we're so giving because people gave to us. 
It's very important to have God at the center of the relationship, of the marriage, with our kids, with our friends, just whatever it may be. Last year we were in Atlanta. Yes. Uh, it's just important that they see my wife come around the program now and to see me to be you know, the husband that I want to be. So now I can example that for them. You think about um, the father that I want to be and I want them to see that too. I want people to see what it looks like to have a holy marriage and what it's like to support one another, love on one another. What's your definition of a man? It's very important to me to be supportive to him because I feel like that's how he grows. I mean, the Bible states that the man is the provider, he's the protector, and it's important for me to push him where he needs to be, where he wants to be. If I see him lacking, I'm going to encourage him. If I see him hurting, I'm going to comfort him. Whatever it may be, whatever I need to do as a wife, I'm going to support him on that. It took football to really teach me why I coach football. I realized that I teach and coach to impact God's kingdom, not just to win football games. And that changed my whole perspective on how I go about coaching these young men. With God at the center, we can take on the world no matter what. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, none, so bring it.